association of an electrophile, or A sub E, involves a pi bond as nucleophile coordinating to an electrophile that's almost universally positively charged. The pi electrons are shared between two atoms, and in this step, only one of those two atoms actually forms a bond to the electrophile. The other atom involved in the pi bond ends up with a positive charge. And which of the two atoms forms the bond depends on the stability of this positive charge on one or the other of the atoms within the pi bond. Thinking about this helps explain, for example, why in this particular situation, the electrophile doesn't form a bond to the more substituted carbon, which would result in the formation of this product. This doesn't form because the positive charge is more stable on the more substituted carbon. This is a pi to A type interaction as the electrophile contains an empty atomic orbital, and an image of the orbital overlap involved is shown here. This is considered sigma type orbital overlap, because if we focus on the lobe of the p orbital that's involved in overlap with the empty atomic orbital directly, we see that the two orbitals are overlapping coaxially. Notice also that a new sigma bond is formed between the two molecules involved in this step. Important electrophiles that you'll see involved in AE or AE type steps are H plus or even the corresponding strong acids, something like HCl, which is a little bit more complicated than our example AE here, but is the same basic idea. You'll also see very reactive cations like the NO2 plus cation involved in this step, and you'll even see some reactive neutral species like halogens becoming involved in this process, such as Br2 and Cl2.